houses in Imanjiro sub county where we are looking at our, uh, creating awareness among the mothers, mostly those who are breastfeeding. You realize that there are many mothers, not only those who are breastfeeding, including those who are raising children in our own households. They are not aware of the best practices when it comes to how best you need to raise a child, what type of foods that you need to feed that kid, and also how best you can take care of their personal hygiene. Remember, these are things that some of us we take for granted, but it's very critical. For example, in the past research that we did, the assessment that we did, where we mapped out different households with good food, nutrition and wash practices, out of the 165 houses that we mapped out, uh, you realize that only a few, like 10% of what we assessed, qualified to be model households. What about other homes that are there? It's the reason why we are back today with another activity that looks at creating specifically awareness to the mothers. Remember the mothers are the ones who are always taking care of the children more than the husbands. And then the husbands always have the, the, the responsibility of looking for what to feed them, their families. So the mothers take the, the biggest challenge of raising children and ensuring that they grow in the right direction. However, knowing on what type of foods and how best you can fight malnutrition is always a challenge. And this is why the Right to Grow program is here to ensure that mothers out there are aware of best practices when it comes to nutrition, when it comes to wash, that is water, sanitation and hygiene in their own households. Our outcry to the sponsors, to the donors and also the well-wishers out there, there are really so many issues that concerns uh, us or that concerns the households but there is little evidence when it comes to empirical data that is available and also on the response mechanism it's why we are also engaging the VHTs in the villages how best they can create more awareness because we are not able to reach to the last mile person on a daily basis but through the structures that are already existing is how best we can reach out to those out there but without the resources, it is always a challenge to reach out to the overwhelming numbers and also the response to malnutrition cases that are in Mayuge district.